Oh my god, this is so like... I used to make videos down here. Started from the bottom, now I'm back at the bottom. Okay, so today... For those of you who don't know, now you know. Um, my glasses are dirty as hell. And I'm breaking out, but now you know that. Anyway, no, that's not what I was going to say. <laughs> Sorry, this just feels weird doing it like right here. But the lighting's really good, even though I look like shit. But anyways, so for those of you who don't know, um, I've been like on like an abstinence like journey. And it's been over a year now. I've reached a year on january 14th and it's now like january 29th or 30th i think so yeah um and i just wanted to like share a few things that i like learned or like like how the what process was or whatever first of all it's so annoying when like men are like oh how'd you do that like oh my god i could never like yeah well because you're a man and men and women are like wired differently you know um i know that there are men that do like practice like celibacy or abstinence or whatever i know that there are men out there but like you know it's just like you're a man like you know sorry not to be a hater but like still like you know like men are just known horn dog anyway so I'm gonna just share a few things that like I learned and I already said that. Okay, so now that it's been a year, honestly, like you know how many times like I've tried to like even like hang out with a man again. Okay, so not only did I not do the do <laughs> with men in over a year, I have not hung out with one in over a year. That means I have not linked a man. The only guy that I linked was my crush and that like obviously that wasn't anything and he's like my friend so that doesn't count and we only linked like I don't know um but yeah I haven't even linked a man I haven't been talking to men in any type of way you know like I barely responded to them um at any time like anytime like I was like oh like maybe you know what like maybe I'll link this man or whatever um i was like you know i might as well go the full year and now that the year's over i was like um i started like you know talking to a few men and like thinking about like oh like maybe i'll link up with them you know because it has been a long time or whatever and then, then like it's just like every time a man messages me like i'm like oh like he's kind of cute and then he starts talking and i'm like oh my god it's broken but not like like it's just there's i mean the men that i've come across like lately are just and let me tell you all something when a guy would hit me up and ask me to chill or something the moment i said that i am i've been saying celibate i know that's not the right term abstinent but i'll say celibate so like i'm like the moment i mentioned that i am celibate and that i don't do that anymore or whatever it's an automatic block or the men will be like, oh, like, let's link, like, da 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 And I'll be like, okay, but I'm, like, not going to do anything with you because, like, this, this, and this. And they're like, oh, um, that's fine. No worries. And then they wouldn't hit me up again. Like, you really could have just said, like. So, yeah. Um, honestly, my entire freaking mindset has changed on the thing because. Okay, I'm also going to be doing like a try treat thing now. So this month we have the Philippines. And list, I'm going to list the stuff that I have. So there's a Hans, Hansel Mocha sandwich. Sky Flakes garlic flavor. That sounds good. Adobo correct me if i'm pronouncing any of these wrong i'm so sorry i butcher everything adobo boy i'm not even I'm, um there's sweet corn strawberry cake jake 
Cabina biscuit, prawn cracker, cheese balls. Ooh, green mango butterscotch bar. That sounds interesting. Okay, so. Ow! I just hope my toe. So, anyways, so basically, like, my whole mindset has changed on the whole, like, hooking up thing or whatever. If I'm being honest, me and, like, hooking up in the past was definitely for multiple reasons. One, definite daddy issues. Two, um, I was an alcoholic. I mean, like, I'm still obviously an alcoholic. I don't think that goes away, but I'm not drinking every day. I'm not, like, off the ship, like, all the time, you know? Um, so that plays a factor. And then third, like, obviously, like, like my way of self-harming. And what a lot of people don't know is the fact that, like, a lot of these men that I slept with were when I was homeless, when I literally, like, like, I don't know how many of y'all have been homeless, but one thing about these guys that I was, like, chatting to or whatever when I was homeless, I guarantee none of them would have let me stay the night at their place or stayed for a couple days if I hadn't have slept with them. And I just, I just know that for a fact and i mean as shitty that as that is that was just how i like you know survived or whatever um while i was homeless so it was always just kind of like a self-harm slash like survival tactic for me i'm not saying that there weren't times that i was like hooking up with men for fun because like yeah i definitely was but i definitely was broken then and i'm not like broken now Please be coming to my house. 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 Please. Oh, it stopped. Is it coming to my house? Bro, I hate when other people on my street order packages because it's like, why would you do that? <gasps> That's not my house? Cool. Okay. So, yeah. I don't even know where I left off. The freaking Post Canada, Canada Post thing distracted me. So yeah, like, you know, like I wasn't in the right mind space or whatever. And from like, okay, from like, from like me, from like 17 to like, I want to say 25 or 26 was just all terrible years for me. I'm not even going to lie. And I always see people that are like, oh, like, um you're grown like you should have known better like when you did this this and this okay well that's different like when you are um i don't know how to describe it oh when you go through trauma and like you're trying to deal with trauma or like you're just adding more trauma onto your life you're not gonna like be growing the same as someone else like if i have like severe trauma with my like within like my teen years and stuff obviously my me as a 20 year old like a 20 year old or a 20 something year old is going to be different than someone who doesn't have trauma who isn't dealing with trauma who isn't like going through the worst shit like we're gonna be growing at like different stages like you can't just stay like yeah, anyway. Anyway, so my mindset's like completely different. It's just like, why? Like, what is the point of like hooking up with random men? Like, first of all, why do I want to like... Like, what's the point? Like, what's the actual point? Because more time when I like go and like to like with, with a man or whatever, it's mostly for their satisfaction. Do you know how many times, like, out of all the times that I've, like, with men, um, that it hasn't been, like, pleasurable on my end? You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? I'm trying not to get too dirty with it, because that's not the point here. Like, so I'm going to go, I'm going to go there, we're going to, together, and you're going to, 
blessed or not, I'm not. And then I'm going to go home and then I'm going to have another body and another like spiritual tie for what? For what? Just so you could like, I don't like men enough to want to help you do that. Sorry for the men's slander. I'm so sorry. But honestly, like, it's just, I don't understand. And, like, the amount of, like, and, okay, so, I know I was saying this a lot. And, like, I always say this. Like, I believe in, like, soul ties, whatever. And I believe that bad energy, like, gets passed on to me. And I'm not even going to cap. Like, I know for a fact that my bad energy and my, like, you know, like, everything that I was carrying, too, also passed along to these men. It was not a one-way thing. I wasn't just getting their bad energy. I had horrible energy, okay? I can't even imagine how much bad energy a lot of these men got from me. Like, I... And, like, all the freaking, like, the sleep demons and, like, the... Like, the incubus, succubus thing that I had going on and stuff. I have not experienced that in a while, Actually, I had, like, a sleep paralysis thing the other night, and I could feel the sleep demon, like, rubbing my back, but, um, I don't know why. I think that was because I went, like, a couple of days without sleeping, but that's different. Okay, so first we have the Sky Flakes Crackers. I'm gonna try these. I'm, like, completely getting off topic. They're just like like you know those regular like crackers that um people like put in their soup and stuff. It tastes like that, but like better in a way. Next we have these wafer rolls. Oh, it's chocolate. I feel like I'm gonna break it, but oh, it's like in a tray. Oh, it smells good. Hmm. Okay. Then we have these prawn crackers. Wait, which one is this? Oh, it smells like fishy but let's put it whatever this animal is I'm not into seafood unless it's like salmon or like the battered fish or whatever so I don't think that's really my thing but cool concept Um, and I might be contradicting myself a little bit here because I might do the do soon, but not for any reason, like, to, like, have fun or, like, because, like, mm, just for money purposes. This is the strawberry cake. Um... I really need to learn how to like up my money. I need to I need to start posting more on YouTube. It's yummy. It's pink. It'd be better if there was like icing. 
mask or something like okay next we have the mocha sandwich cream filled biscuits has a strong smell like coffee mm. really good next we have the green mango butterscotch bar i'm not gonna lie this does not sound appealing to me personally so i'm not gonna try this but yeah now we have the corn i think this is the corn thing the corn oh the sweet corn no that's not what it looks like this is not the sweet corn okay what's this then Oh, these are the garlic savory corn nuts seasoned with garlic. <clears throat> yeah, wait, did I show it? Yeah. Okay, these are actually bomb. What? Let me look at the... Okay, so there's 120 calories. Oh, it has potassium. Sounds good. Yes, I'm one of those people that look at the freaking labels now. And I'm looking at the labels because I want to actually eat these. So I'm going to leave these up here. That'll be my snack. Next up, we have what's this? I think this is the chocolate bar thingy. I'm like forgetting what I read. Oh, yeah, this is a biscuit. Best enjoyed with milk or coffee. Well, I don't drink coffee because it gives me the poopies. And I don't have any milk. Okay, I think I opened. Am I? Oh my gosh. Um. Okay. Yep. Okay, they're good. I think I opened it wrong because they're a bunch of like little. Oop. Those are good. Next up, we have the cheese balls. Cheese balls sound exciting to me. I've never had cheese balls. Okay. I swear, okay, I'm supposed to be talking about things that I learned while being abstinent, but... I think all in all, all I really learned is that men don't care to hang out with you unless you're, or me, just me in general. And I, I understand that I have like this whole like persona online where like I'm like the biggest or oh, whatever, but can I not just chill? Like, why can't we just be friends? Why can't we just chill? But I've had, like, really bad experiences with, like, men as, like, friends anyway. So, I don't even know. Because, like, the friends in my life, like, one of them, like, came P-I-M-P-E-D-M-E-O. 
One of them tried to, or threatened to S-H-O-O-T my house. One of them wasn't even really my friend and was only telling me that we were friends and like checking up on me and stuff because it benefited him in some way. Meanwhile, he was telling everyone else that he doesn't actually fuck with me like that. And he doesn't like, we're not even like talking or not cool or whatever. So I just, I have trust issues all around when it comes to friends, but I've just never really had a good male friend, to be honest. Well, now I do, but like, you know, bad experiences for me. Okay, I did not get it all in the way for me. Bro, how do people open? No, because I'm actually getting annoyed because you cannot be doing this right now. I need to open. Oh, wait, I think I found it. No, I didn't. What did I learn? How has my viewpoint changed? Guys, I don't know. I swear, like, there were so many things that I had thought up of. I need to start writing on the list before I make these videos. Wow, these are so good. But I cannot eat them. Okay. And then we have what do we have? I think that was like it. No, I have one thing I swear. Oh wait, what's this? Oh wait, you eat those. Oh my god, they're spilling everywhere. The little cat goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, we have the sweet corn, the corn snack. I've had these before from like a different um country, and I did not like them. I don't like the fact that there's like no flavor in like these corn snack things. So I'm not going to try it because I already know what it, what it tastes like. But yeah, so that's the end of this um, little thing. These are really freaking good and I'm in love. Um, okay, like these are amazing. Like I'm not even a cat, bro. They have other kinds. Damn. What else did I learn? I'm such a failure. What am I doing? Let's just forget what I learned and what the point was. Let's just say again that I, me, me went over a year without linking a man or hooking up with a man. Um, okay, wait. The reason that's good, that's a good thing to say. The reason I started this whole thing was I knew that if I wanted to get my mind right. 
I couldn't be doing the same things that I was doing in order to actually heal. Going to therapy, like, going to therapy and trying to heal from trauma and stuff, I don't think it's really going to work. It would really have worked if I would have, like, continued to like hook up with random men if i continued to get drunk all the time like i mean obviously i was trying to stop the drinking part and i was doing really really good except for that one time i relapsed like the other weekend and that was the only time i did and i'm not saying i was like clean clean from alcohol like completely sober Cause I was definitely having drinks like here and there, but I knew my limit. Like I literally knew my limit. I never went over it. I didn't get black or drunk or whatever. And then just that one time it just, and it was honestly because like, and like I've been hearing this all my life, like from like people, don't drink when you're depressed. When you're like feeling low and sad, or like angry like if you're in like a completely shitty freaking mood don't drink because i promise you all those feelings are gonna come up when you're drunk if you get too drunk you're just gonna feel even worse and then you're gonna have a hangover and it's just not worth it i mean anyways i'm the queen of freaking getting off topic clearly but all in all i just knew that to really do this right I had to stop doing what I was doing. I had to really like take time to myself, like focus on myself and really focus on myself by just like isolating myself. And like now, and I just got back into therapy again, by the way, already had my first session. Really like my therapist. Um, it really helped me a lot to go see her, even though it was one session so far. Because, bro, she made me cry. Cause after like, we went through like a timeline of like my life and like all the like the significant like traumatizing like parts of it. And then after we were finished, she like sat down and she was like, She's like, honestly, I just, she's like, um, not in these exact words. I, I don't remember exactly what she said, but she was like, she's like, I'm sorry you had to deal with all these things. And I want you to know that like, you did the best with like what you had, um, whatever, whatever. And I'm proud that you were able to, after all of that to like try to find like who you are and like try to like reach out for help and everything and like she was just like i don't know like i and i just like i was just i was just like trying to hold back my tears like bro i was like like bro oh my god not me like almost crying now again but like no it was it was really beautiful it was it was really nice to hear that because honestly like I don't have like a lot of people in my life that are like, you know, like cheering me on or like telling me like, you know, good job, how to be you. I do have like a few, like maybe one or two people, but I don't like hear it that often. And I feel like it's just me and myself just cheering me on. I know I have you guys, but like, I, don't, I haven't been posting. So obviously like, how could you, you know, but yeah that's that um so yeah this is basically just a congratulations to me for just like not sleeping with men yeah <laughs> but yeah that was my chat treat thingy um you get a you if you sign up for a subscription i have like a discount code or whatever and they'll send you a box of treats from a different country every month and they're really yummy and it's really cool it's really cool because like it's like you don't know what it is 
and you open it and you're like, oh my God, this is so cool. And who wouldn't want to try snacks from different countries? The fuck? Bro, I'm so mad because the other day my skin was so clear, like so clear. And then I woke up and like I was bleeding again. Cause like I had my hair for three weeks straight, heavy too. And I woke up and it was bleeding again. And then I just started breaking out like crazy. So I love that. Also, um, regarding the whole like tattoo removal thing, I went for my first treatment and you guys already knew that, but I would have, I was supposed to have gotten like my second treatment by now and I was going to vlog it, but, um, They've canceled three appointments in a row. I don't know what's going on. I heard like, you know, the workers out or whatever. So I don't know like what's going on with that. And like, it's kind of annoying because like I wanted these tattoos gone before like I started going on like my trip. And I have like trips planned within the next few months. Like I plan on getting flown out. I'm not gonna say which state, but I'm getting flown out. Um. Well, I'm getting flown out twice. I'm getting flown out to two different states. Anyways, not important. Um, but yeah, I really wanted them gone so that like, you know, when I go to like these places where it's like hot and whatever, and I'm going to be going on the beach or whatever, that I could just get my lashes done and then go and not have to worry about like, you know, putting on a full face of makeup while I'm sweating my butthole off. Um, but apparently that's... <laughs> Not looking like that's gonna happen, and so I think I'm just gonna have to, you know, stick it out, and uh, yeah, just have these for now. And then, also, I don't want anyone to get confused. I'm gonna list a couple of reasons why I'm getting rid of these tattoos. First of all, they're base, I've already said this, but they're basic to me. Like, I really hate the red one, everyone knows that I cover it, and before there's any confusion because once they're gone i literally getting rid of them to get different ones okay so for anyone who's gonna be like oh like your face is gonna be so cute and clean like you're not gonna look like a jailbird anymore um the plan is to actually get one face tattoo after maybe two and no, they're not like impulsive decisions. I'm grown now. I'm a healed queen. I'm, I'm a healing queen. Healing queen. I'm not healed, obviously. Um, but yeah, so the plan is definitely to get like different tattoos on my face. And I know that probably sounds stupid as hell to a lot of you, but just trust the process. I promise you it's not going to be, you know. Bye. Love you guys so much. I feel like I had something else to say. Bye, I love you guys. Um. Oh, yeah. So I might be like linking with some men soon, and I that might get contradicted everything I just said. But the point is that I'm winning over a year, and yeah. So just love me for me. I did not fart. That was a coach is not making the exact same sound. I'm so mad because my hair looks greasy and I literally showered last night. So what is going on, girl? Also, I switched up my hair part because a lot of you guys were saying like, I mean, it was true. So I'm not even gonna say that. But if you guys noticed, like the middle part was like expanding and like just like not it and i changed my hair part and now it's doing the exact same thing there so like do i switch it up again do i go back to the middle part like do i find a different part because like this is not okay like it's just so it was not like this when i first parted it <clears throat> but anyways thank you guys for tuning in i love you guys so much and 
um if you want to follow me on my social media all of them will be linked down below and you guys never seem to follow the links and follow me but i would really appreciate it if you did because i'm drowning here and i need more followers <laughs> yeah okay bye guys love you oh wait i I swear I did. I swear. Oh, my TikTok got banned. I have a new TikTok. It'll be in the link down below. Um, oh, another thing. So I know a lot of people complain that I don't upload a lot or whatever. And if you actually want to like, you know, like follow my life kind of in a way, I have a spam account on Instagram. Um, I accept like all the girlies, you know, um, I don't accept fake accounts so if you're gonna if you plan on like trying to creep from a fake account I definitely look through the followers and I decline like you know um so yeah if you wanted to like you know stay updated with my life or whatever I basically spill out my entire freaking life on there and ask questions and I engage with like my followers and stuff so if you want to follow my spam account it's going to be linked below oh my god I'm like talking too much what else was I going to say I swear I had something to say the heck was I gonna say? What else was I gonna say? We're gonna have to sit here for a moment while I figure this out. Follow the link. And what? Yeah, I'll be uploading a lot more gym vlogs. I'm going to have to try to find an editor um, or learn to edit myself. I don't know. So, Because the reason that they were muted is because the music plays like kind of loudly in the gym. And I don't want to get copyrighted. I don't know how to edit. You guys already knew that. And I don't know why after like how many years of doing YouTube, I don't know how to edit still. And it's just, but I don't have the proper like technical tech thingies to like edit i don't have like a proper laptop or anything so i have to save up for one so just bear with me guys i'm sorry um another thing that kind of comes into play with going over a year without engaging in sexual thing is that you know my subscriber count on of has kind of gone down because that's what men were looking to see and i just haven't been uploading it like that so that's why my money's kind of low and like also because obviously i don't post enough on here but yeah okay bear with me love you guys i'm so sorry for making this so long oh my god give me a heart okay do the other side let's do a heart together okay bye love you